Hello and welcome to Electric Bike Report. My name is Pete and this is the Aventon Level Electric Bike in for testing and review. This is one of the latest e-bikes from Aventon and it's their high-speed electric commuter bike. It provides up to 28 miles per hour of pedal assist or 20 miles per hour with a throttle and uh, some of the, the highlights are the 48 volt 14 amp hour lithium battery which is uh, housed within the down tube of the frame here. Nice clean design and great uh, placement for the battery pack. Then you've got the uh, 500 watt geared rear hub motor with 750 watts of peak power. Shimano Acera 8 speed drivetrain. Nice uh, accessory package including metal fenders front and rear, solid rear rack. You've got uh, the Bengal hydraulic disc brakes and the Suntour uh, suspension fork here. So uh, a lot uh, a lot of features and uh, nice componentry in this bike that retails for $15.99 and that includes free shipping. So uh, anyways this is a, a video overview and I'll have a full review for you at electricbikereport.com and there's a link to that in the notes for this video. So with that let's get into the details. Okay, so a big highlight of the level is the Hydroform aluminum frame. Here at the uh, head tube, there's uh, internal cable routing within the down tube area for a nice uh, clean look, as well as uh, cable protection. And uh, speaking of the down tube, this is where the 48 volt, 14 amp hour lithium battery with Samsung cells is housed uh, within that down tube. So you can see uh, the battery uh, cover there on the bottom part of the down tube. Um, but uh, from this angle, it's just really hard to tell that, uh, that there's a battery there. So it really blends in well with the overall looks of the bike. And it's also nice for uh, the protection of the battery as well as the position. Uh, it's a nice location for the overall balance of the bike, which uh, also helps with the handling of the bike too. And while we're here, there is a uh, charge port. You can uh, charge the battery while it's uh, installed in the bike and it can also be charged when it's been removed from the bike too. And I'll show the removal process in a bit. So here at the uh, head tube you can see the really smooth welds, just a lot of attention to detail there, just a lot of clean lines, and in a pretty interesting sort of angular look to the tubing too. And then the top tube really swoops down to provide uh, a nice bit of standover height there. And a look at the seat post quick release and um, the smooth welds there at the seat tube. And the seat tube itself has a pretty interesting profile. It's uh, kind of got an aerodynamic look to it there and uh, just, you know, definitely adds to the unique look of the level. And down here at near the crank set, this is where the down tube sort of tapers there to provide clearance for the chain ring and uh, just a nice uh, detail there. And coming back here, you can see the rack attachment point the fender attachment point there and then dropping down the rear rack down here the fender there is a replaceable derailleur hanger so in case that uh, gets bent it's easy to replace that but uh, yeah just overall some nice attention to detail and uh, really makes the level stand out with uh, a different look compared to a lot of other e-bikes so here's a quick demonstration of the removal of the battery pack. You unlock it with one of the supplied keys, there's two supplied, and then uh, rotate the lever here and the battery uh, drops out from the down tube there. And uh, a look at the frame without the battery and the connection point down there. And then uh, a look at the bottom of the battery pack with that connection and the battery. Just a nice clean design overall. And then to reinstall basically the same in reverse just line it up at the bottom click it in at the top and then uh, rotate the key make sure it fully locks take the key double check make sure the battery is fully secured and you should be good to go so here's the battery removed from the bike with the charger and charge time is about four to five hours for a complete charge from empty and uh, again the battery can also be charged on the bike as well Okay, so let's check out the drivetrain of the bike. So first of all, there's the uh, aluminum platform pedals, and these have a nice grippy surface on both sides of the pedal there, as well as reflectors front and rear. And then 170 millimeter cranks with a 42 tooth chain ring with uh, double chain ring guards to keep the chain on the chain ring and to provide a little bit of uh, pant leg protection. And then that drives back to the eight speed Shimano Cogset back here that has a range from 12 
tooth to a 32 tooth cog there at the top and uh, it's a nice range for uh, climbing hills as well as uh, getting up to around 28 miles per hour which is the max assist and then there's the shimano acera uh, rear derailleur that shifts through the eight speeds there and uh, just behind is the 500 watt uh, with 750 watt peak power this is the geared rear hub motor that provides pedal assist up to 28 miles per hour there's five different levels of pedal assist and there's also the thumb throttle option where uh, you can be pedaling or not pedaling and that provides assist up to 20 miles per hour so that makes the level a class 3 electric bike so slowing down the level, it's handled by the Bengal Aries 3 hydraulic disc brakes. And these have 180 millimeter rotors on the front and the back of the bike. Here's a look at the uh, rear brake and rotor that's attached to the uh, 500 watt geared rear hub motor there. These uh, have that you know typical hydraulic disc brake engagement feel, just a very solid feel to them. Uh, a lot of power, and they modulate the power very well. Uh, these are you know a really nice spec on a bike that can provide pedal assist up to 28 miles per hour. It's also another uh, you know just feature and quality highlight uh, for a bike at this price point too. So smoothing out the ride is handled by the uh, SR Suntour Moby A32 suspension fork and uh, this has about 3 inches of travel or 75 millimeters. It has the uh, through axle design here that provides a solid uh, connection to the front wheel compared to a typical quick release and uh, just really helps for the overall steering and cornering performance of the bike. And here at the top is a uh, lockout dial. So if you're riding on uh, pretty smooth roads, you can lock out the suspension fork. So when you're, say, standing out of the saddle and pedaling hard, you get the most efficient ride by locking out the fork. And then to uh, unlock it, just uh, turn the dial like that. And on this side is the preload dial right here. So you can set that uh, spring rate of the fork to fit your weight and riding style. So here's a closer look at the Kenda Quick Drumlin tires that are spec'd on the front and back. And uh, these are 27.5 by 2.2 inch wide. And they're built specifically for electric bikes, so a little bit uh, tougher construction. And uh, they have reflective uh, striping on both sides of the tires, and that helps to be seen when you're out and about at night. The uh, tread pattern is uh, pretty efficient for a nice smooth ride on uh, paved roads and such. It has some channeling to dissipate water. And it has some pretty nice uh, tread on the side here. So you know, if you do end up exploring like a dirt road or a gravel road, um, there's some capability for doing that. So it really makes the level a nice uh, versatile e-bike. So the ride position on the level here is uh, kind of a performance style ride position with the flat handlebars that are fairly wide for a nice bit of leverage over the front wheel there. There is a little bit of a rise to the handlebar and the stem here is uh, currently in the highest position. But if you want to go lower, that's possible by just rearranging the stack of spacers there on the uh, steer tube. So that's, uh, that's a possibility. And then the uh, top tube swoops down here to provide uh, a fair bit of standover height for the level. The uh, seat post quick release here can be uh, opened and you can vary the uh, seat height uh, very quickly. The seat itself uh, has a kind of a mid-width profile to it here for a comfortable ride while still being narrow in the front for efficient pedaling. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the handlebar area. First of all, there's the Velo lock-on collar grips. Each collar uh, locks onto the handlebars for a really solid feel. Then uh, you've got the Bengal hydraulic uh, front disc brake lever. And uh, these brake levers have reach adjustment. There's a little set screw in here so you can adjust the reach to fit your hand size. And that's nice for riders who have smaller hands. There's uh, also sensors in each brake lever. So when you engage the brake, uh, the pedal assist or the throttle will stop. So uh, that's true for both brake levers. And then there's the thumb throttle here. And this uh, offers a wide spectrum of power uh, all the way up to 20 miles per hour of assist. Then there's the uh, control pad to adjust the pedal assist levels. Uh, there's five different pedal assist levels, and that uh, will provide pedal assist up to 28 miles per hour. So over here, you can see uh, this is the display that's in the center of the handlebars. You got your battery level here. This is the current speed. This is the pedal assist level. 
Um, and then you've got your odometer. So first of all, we'll just cycle through the different pedal assist levels. And uh, I use, I'm using the up and down arrows on the control pad. So you get down to four, three, two, one, and then zero is no pedal assist. So then you can go back up to five there. And uh, right here, this is currently showing the odometer. But if I hit the, um, the lower button here on the control pad, which is also the on off button, hit that real quick. You've got trip distance A, trip distance B, and then you've got voltage on the battery and then the ride time. So a lot of good uh, info, easy to see here. There is a backlight that's currently turned on that helps for seeing in low light conditions. Uh, but overall, it's just nice, easy to see the important info uh, at a quick glance when you're riding along. And then on the right side is the Bengal hydraulic disc brake lever for the rear brake, the Shimano Acera eight speed shifter here, and then the Velo lock on grip. So the level comes with a nice accessory package too. There's the uh, aluminum rear rack here that uh, can support up to 60 pounds of cargo and uh, or 27 kilograms there. And it has a, lo a lot of uh, attachment points where you could attach straps to hold cargo uh, to the top here. Uh, you can also add bags or baskets to the top or sides. So uh, a lot of uh, possibilities there to transport some cargo on your daily commute or errand running. And then uh, the fenders, there are full coverage uh, fenders on the front and the back of the bike. And uh, these are a metal fender compared to uh, a lot of bikes come with plastic fenders. So it's a nice uh, uh, quality highlight of the accessory package, especially for a bike at this price point. And then uh, also you've got the kickstand and the length is adjustable so you can set the angle of the bike uh, as it's parked. All right, so that's a video overview of the Aventon level. Make sure you check out the full review at electricbikereport.com and there's a link to that in the notes for this video. That'll include a bunch of detailed pictures, specifications, ride characteristics, range test results, pros, cons, and overall thoughts. All at electricbikereport.com.